Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and some Friday night fun with a, a six by six, possibly not even a six by six. Um, we will, you'll see when I go through the rules that we're clearly in a run of normal Sudoku rules do not apply. They don't apply in this puzzle. Some, something like them applies um, as normal. Anyway, we will look at that in a moment. I'm really looking forward to grappling with this one and seeing what happens. Um, it's by Nebuza Radan, who is a name entirely unfamiliar to me, I believe. Um, and it looks like a bowl of ramen. Now, ramen is an amusing word to me because I didn't really know how to pronounce it when I tried it on Wordle a few months ago. And I think I said Raymond. And a lot of people corrected me in the comments. That's perfectly fine. Thank you for that. I like every day's a school day. We like to learn. Um, but within about two weeks after that, the correct answer to um, Wordle was ramen on one day. And I was wondering if the New York Times was trolling me too. But anyway, there we go. You, you, can, never, you can never keep these big publishing behemoths from having a go. <laughs> They probably weren't. It was probably just a coincidence. Uh, right. Yes, look, the puzzle clearly looks like a bowl of ramen steaming and chopsticks going in. Excellent. Anyway, we will look at that in a moment and I'll go through the rules, which are fascinating. Uh, I do want to mention that it is nearly time up on all the fun of the fair. If you're struggling with one last puzzle on that, give it, give it one last shot and then give up. This week, you might want to have a go at this weekend. You might want to have a go at the Sudoku Grand Prix round one. Look up Sudoku GP. You'll find your way to it. Um, you will have to register and you will then be able to download some puzzles to solve in an hour and a half. Get as many as you can done. Um, what else is going on? We've got all our apps. They're all on the links under the video. Some fabulous line Sudoku puzzles featuring Ren Bands and Region Sum lines. Um, and of course, there's genuinely approachable Sudoku there and all our various apps. Check them out. They are good fun. We also have some merchandise, which you can see on the links under the video and Sven's Sudoku pad and, uh, yeah, on Patreon this weekend, my cryptic crossword will be coming up. So loads going on. Do join us on Patreon. That's where all the fun of the fair is and where you can watch Simon's incredible solve of the cogito. Um, and I am going to read the rules of Ramen by Nebuzaradan. And I'm sorry if that's not where you wanted your name stressed, Neb. Right. Fill some. The second word of these rules are fascinating. Fill some cells of the grid with digits, such that digits don't repeat within what Nebuzaradan calls a house, but that means, and explains, is a, is a row, column, or region. So digits don't repeat in a row, column, or region. We're only filling some cells, and each row, column, or region will contain all digits 1 through n, where n is to be determined for each row, column, and region. So this row may only contain the digits 1, 2, and 3, if n was 3. And then there'll be three blank cells in it. However, it might contain all the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or just a single 1. That is fascinating. I mean, that's weird. And that will apply to every row, every column, and every box. Uh, then we have Renban rules. On each purple line, the digits are consecutive in any order and do not repeat. So along this line, you could have one, two, or three digits. If there are multiple digits, they will be consecutive and not repeating. Um, and region sum lines, on each blue line, digits on the line sum to the same value within each region the line passes through. So the sum of any digits there will be the same as the sum of any digits there, which will be the same as the sum of the digit there. Now, I know there is a digit there because each clue line must... Oh, sorry, just before I get there. The line, the blue line is considered to pass through the region even if all the cells in the region are empty. Well, that couldn't happen um, because each clue line must pass through at least one digit. That applies to every Renban. There must be at least one digit. And every region sum line. 
As a consequence, it says in brackets, a region sum line must pass through at least one digit in each region. So there must be a digit in each region. OK. Um, the author recommends turning off automatic solution check for this puzzle. I always have it off anyway. Let's just make absolutely sure. Yeah. Um, since the solution may contain empty cells, the solution check will trigger when all non-empty cells are filled correctly. OK. So we will get to check our workings with the final answer. Anyway, absolute madness. Totally not Sudoku rules, but let's get cracking. So, these cells must have a digit in. Now, I'm claiming that on the basis that each line has a digit somewhere. Therefore, there is an N, a sum of the digits on each blue line. And therefore, these must be actual digits. The same is true of these two, which, again, if, if a blue line has only got one cell in a box, it, that cell must be filled. So this row, we've got at least one, two, three in. Ah, this digit, if it's a digit and not a, not a blank, where does that go in row six? Not in the same box, not on the same Renban line. It would go here, but it might not be a digit. I would normally be looking at this cell and going, this is really interesting because it doesn't go anywhere on this Renban line. And therefore, it also doesn't go on its own line. Therefore, it's in one of the, I don't know. But with the blanks that could occur, I don't know what anything means anymore. Right, box two has got all six digits have a blue line in. Ah, whatever the total is of those two digits is the total of the digits used in box two. Now, that is not going to be all the digits one through six, because they would add up to 21, which is far too high a total to be achieved in those two cells. Clearly, six is our maximal digit. Now, does that mean this contains one, two, three, four, and that's a six, four pair? What if this only contained, well, I mean, even one and two. I was going to say one, two, and three. Okay, the, the sum of this box is either three, six, or ten. Those are the triangular numbers that give the totals of the sum of one and two, one, two, and three, one, two, three, and four. So these digits add up to 3, 6, or 10. Ah, this is obvious. Sorry, I haven't seen this before. These must include a counting digit because every region sum line scores in every box. Now, they can't just have one counting digit because it would be the same as this one. So both of those count. That digit could repeat here. What does this mean? I can't get my head around this at all. How do we know? Well, I'm saying this could be a 1 and a 2. It feels very, very minimalistic for that to be the case. If there was only one digit on this line, it would be there, because it would be the same as that R. I don't know. One of these digits counts because this line passes through this box. So at least one of those is blue. So there are at least three counting digits. So our possible totals are now six and ten, just from this box alone. Now, if six was the total and we had a one, two, three here,
If only one of these was counting, it would be the same as that digit. I don't think it can... I don't know, maybe... It, can it be one, two and three? Yes, it could. Yes, it could. But we're going to be counting some three at least, three or four of these digits are going to be counting. Three or four. If there were only three, that digit would be the same as a digit here and wouldn't be up here. Therefore, this region sum would have to be made up of two digits. Because if this was the same as that, it couldn't appear in any of those columns again. So that one would be made up of two digits. And we're talking about the supposition that there are only three counting digits in box two. The other one would be in this box. That one would be the same, and it would be there. So those would be the three... Well... These would be blank. The only counting digits in these columns at all, in all of these box, well, in boxes two and four, boxes two and four would be one, two, and three appearing twice each. Um, I don't know what that means. These would add up to 6. They'd either be a 2, 4 or a 1, 5 pair. I mean, that seems... Oh, this would have to be a 2 or a 1. That couldn't be because of this sum. This would be a 2 or a 1. Oh, hang on. That wouldn't work. Right, I'm going on the supposition... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rule out now the supposition that we've only got three counting digits in this box. So the counting digits add up to six, as they would do in this two-by-two two area. Now, one of these two, which also would add up to six, would be a one or a two in that case. And it couldn't be here because of this pair adding up to the same. So that would be here. That same digit would appear in one of these cells... And that same digit would appear in one of these two cells. But we've just worked out that if there were three counting digits in this box, they'd be here and two on that line. Those would both be blank. I mean, my goodness. I'm sure it's not meant to be that complicated, but that's how I've done it. So I now know that there are four counting digits here, adding up to ten. Just as there... Well, all I know here is that these digits add up to ten... The fact that there may or may not be counting digits there makes a difference to how many cells there might be here. But I know that these two add up to 10. The maximum digit is 6, and that has become a 6-4 pair. Now, if that was a 4, this would be a 1-3 pair. Then you couldn't have a 1-3 thing here. That would be 4. Oh, this would be 6. And this doesn't work at all. Right. I can see why that doesn't work. How can I see this when I couldn't see how to do that early thing? I don't know. Anyway, if this was 4, that's a 1-3 pair. This is 6. Um... I was going to say, where does 6 go in this box? But of course, it doesn't have to go in the box. It can just not be there. Right. So I need to think again. If that's 4, that's a 1-3 pair. That's 6. That's now 2-4. And I can tell you that it can't have a 6 there. Because that 6 would be with a blank. And that would break the rules. Because both this column and this region would have a six and a blank in and you can't do that 
Once you have a six, you have all the digits one through six. In fact, all of this box and this row are filled cells, I've just realized, because of that principle. Interesting. Okay, good. In fact, I'm going to write in one, two, three, five in them, just because why not do a bit of pencil marking when you're not understanding anything else? Right. So, if this is a 6, that's a 4-2 pair, that's a 1-3 pair. And only 1, 2, 3 and 4 are digits up here. And if that's... no, if... oh, if that's a 6, these are all filled digits. And it doesn't quite work, it nearly does. If that's a 6, ah, that would have to be 2, 4. That's what we're saying. And if these are filled digits, there is a 6 in the box and nowhere for it to go. Wow, so that's a 4. I mean, this is madness, this puzzle. You could actually jump ahead, I might have done it already, with assumptions that turn out to be right but aren't actually logically provable. Anyway... This is a 6. Now all of these digits in this column are filled. That's either a 1-3 pair or there's a 4 and a blank in it. If that's a 1-3 pair, that's a 2-4 pair. Now, up here, we could have a 1-5 pair, or that could be a 1-2-3 triple. If that was a 1-2-3 triple, that is the counting 4. Ah. Oh. 5 or 4 appears here. And then in this box, at least four cells are filled. So there is a filled cell here, at least one, maybe two. And now I'm not sure about that. No, it was based on, I can't remember what it was based on. If that's two, four, that could be three, one. Right, let's think about this being 3, 1. Because then that's a 2, 5 pair. This is 2, 4. This is so weird. It's really head-wrecking. What's going on? Four here. This is either one three or four blank. Oh. Well, there is a blank in this column because none of the cells can contain a six. That one is the only one on a sum that could be a six and it's got two filled cells there. In fact, the maximum this could be, if it's filled, is three. And it couldn't even be that. So there is no 6 in this column. What does that mean? It doesn't really mean anything. Oh, there is a 4 filled somewhere up here, which can't be there. So one of these three is a filled 4. Should know which one I think and I don't. If that's a four, this is a one three pair, that's two five, and that's blank. Then that has to be one five, and that's two four, and that's a three. That seems to work. Okay, so let's try the alternative that that's not a four, that four is here. Then this is a four two pair, can't have four one one, that's blank. This is 1, 5, and that's a 3. OK, so this is either... If that's a 4... 
I don't know. I thought I was going to get this narrowed down, and I'm not sure I did. Oh, I'm being very slow here. I'm sorry. I, I just can't quite get to grips with this. This pair could be 1, 5. And that could be 2, 3 or 2, 4. But if this pair is 4, 2, I don't know, I don't know. This, this could be 2 or 3 sales still. I'm, I'm left groping at this. Am I looking in the wrong part of the puzzle now? I suppose that is 1, 2, 3 or 5 because of the equal sum line. It's not doing anything. This ramen bowl could be one, two, three, four, five. No, I don't know. No, I've got to look. I've got to look at these lines. I've got to figure out what's going on. I just can't work it out at the moment. If there's a four in one of these cells counting for, then that's a 4-2 pair, and that's 1-5, and that's a 3. Now the counting for here will require scoring cells of 1, 2, and 3. I don't know, I can't... Ah, if that's... If that's a 1-3 pair, then that has to be a 4, because the only alternative is a 1-3 pair, which would also be there, and then 1 and 3 would have to be in both of those cells, since they're counting cells in column 6, and that obviously doesn't work. So if that's a 1-3 pair, that's a 4. If instead there's a 4 here, there's a 1-3 pair on this jobby. I wish I knew where 5 was. If 5 had to be in this column, then 4 has to count somewhere in it. Um, 5 has to count in this column. Well, it could be down here. That's, I mean, it's counting, but not, not towards any sums. I just don't think these Ren bands are doing anything on the left. Oh, there is a 5 or a 4 in this sum. So at least 4 of the cells in this box are counting. Now that could be 1, 3, 2, 4. And then these don't count. If that happens, this is a 4. That has to be 1, 3 there, 2, 5, 4. That would be all that counted in this column. That would have to be a 1, 5 pair. That would be a 2, 4 pair. It does seem to work. That ends up being a 3. I cannot get to grips with this. So maybe that is the right solution. There are four cells counting in this, in this box. Now, if that was four zero, would that all break apart? If that was four zero, that would be one five. Then two and three would both have to count here. Well, that looks like it works as well. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what's going on. Something must break one way or the other. Okay, let's try it again with four up here. Which makes that four, two. This is one, three. This is two, five. Two five, and this is one three. Then two 
two five there, a single four zero. No, this is one three. We're, th we're starting with four here. One three two five. That's all there is. This is one five. That's four two. That's a three. That would be a one. I don't know. I can't. I can't think that this ramen bowl is fixing this. It must be just something with the lines that I can't see. Four, three, one, two, five. Oh, okay, here's why that doesn't work. That's taken me forever. If that's a four, making that three, one, and that two, five, this is blank. So these two are a pair, and they are one five. But five here means that two and three have to be colored in this box, and they can't be here. Oh, gosh, it's that simple. You are a muppet. So that is not a four. There is a four here. This can't be four one one, so that's a four two pair. This is a one five pair. I mean, this is all simple now. That's a three. That's three in the corner. That's three in the spot. Light. Proving its position. This is blank. Uh, we'll use yellow for blank. Now. This isn't a four. There is a one three pair colored on this line. And that's all in this box, of course. One, three, and a yellow. Um, oh, we can't have a one, three pair here because of that one, five. This is four and a zero. That is a zero. Let's fill it in as a zero. Zeros can repeat. That's a zero and a four. There's two zeros in the column. We can't have a five in the column. Oh, it's so straightforward suddenly. That's a one, two pair. We need a three in the column because the four will count. It's there. Then this is a one, zero pair. Oh, we do need two and three to count in the column. Column four we're moving to now. So they're in here. Crumbs. Oh, there's a five. Ah, but we don't have to go from one to five. It's just a Renban. However... That's one or two, so we do need a four counting on the line, and we do need a three counting on the line, and by Sudoku, that's got to be here on the end of the bowl. The rim of the bowl. So, five, four, and three will count. What's this? Don't know. We've got a counting five in this region. Oh, I worked out that digit is a counting digit in this region because we've got a counting five and a three and it can't be on the bowl again, so it's down there. Three, five. This is either four and zero or four and six. That's such a weird puzzle. This has three counting cells, this box. This one has five. This one has six. This one has five or six. Oh, we've got to have a... Well, yeah, we've only got one, one or two on this... on this um, bowl, so it's a two. Yes, that's a one, five pair. That is a two in the corner. That is a one or a five. These are the same digit. Ooh, there's a one five pair in row four. So, 
the four has to count in this row also the three and the two and the one, which is in one of these two cells. Now, does that mean that is the counting four? It doesn't rule out six counting either, so I don't know. Um, oh, that cell cannot be either two or three because it sees them both. It sees that one on the Renba and that one in the row. So the second two or three in this row that is counting is there on this other Renban. We're getting a lot of counting cells in this puzzle. I suppose that's not surprising. Um, now that's a two, three pair. That could be the counting four, or that could be. This can't be a six, not a counting one anyway. Well, it can't be a six, because this, that couldn't connect with that on the Renban. So there is a non-counting cell in this row. It's, well, either it's here, yeah, there we've got a zero four pair in the row. Now, those are the same ident, I uh, shouldn't use yellow, let's use green flash. The same identity of one and five, and that's the other one. Hmm, I don't know what to do. See, I'm tempted to say this can't be a one because that has no fill, but it doesn't need a fill. You could have a one cell Renban. It's crazy, but it's very annoyingly true. Ah, where does this, oh, does, well, again, does that digit have to go in column three? Don't know. There is only one cell it can go in, if it counts, in column three. Now, if that's, ah, if that, yes, okay, we're good, we're good. This is a great question. If that is a five, then th two and three are counting digits in this column. If that is not a five, that's a five, and this becomes a counting four to make the Renban work. And then again, two and three are counting digits in this column. So either way around, they are counting digits in this column. That one has to count somewhere. It can't be on a Renban with itself. It can't be in a box with itself. It is up here, and it counts, and it's not three, because that's one of the few digit, the only digit we've got in the top of the grid. So that's a two, that's a two, three and two. This is now not four. This is a blank. That's the four. We do need a counting four in this row, just checking my logic. That is a zero, a blank. This is not a five, this is a one. So this green digit became a one. Though we've done those, four and two, thanks to this two. Oh, uh, we were using, I forgot that we were, let's get rid of that green flash. We were going to use yellow for non-counting cells. I've only found two for sure. Now, in this column, this is a five. Everything is counting that isn't the zero. So they're all counting cells. I want to say this has to be the four. Yes, it does. There's no six in this column. And this is counting. It is the four. It doesn't tell me whether this is a zero a nothing, a blank, or a, or a counting six, which would work for the bowl. Anyway, this is a one three pair. I can fill them in. That one fixes one up here, which is blue, and zero, which is not. Now, that row doesn't need anything. None of the rows I've got need any more digits. None of the columns I've got need any more digits. This Renban doesn't need any more. Does that mean I'm entitled to write in zeros? I don't think it does. I think I have to prove them. Um, ah. Oh, that's lovely. These are definitely both zeros because if this Renban had another digit, it would be a three, but now it's sitting right next to a three. If this Renban had another digit, we worked that out earlier, it would be two or three. Yes, I didn't know that was a one when I was looking at that. This one could be, no, it can't be a three because this Renban would now be broken. So that's zero. So both of, well, no, this Renban only had one digit on. We did have one of those. 
Those are all yellow. Coldplay are coming into force here now. We can't have a counting six anymore in the column because the column doesn't have enough counting cells. That can't be a three, so that's a zero. Oh, and this can't be a three, so we can't add to the row. And this, well, it would be a five in the row and a three in the box. Oh, I have not got a tick for that. What was the, since the solution, solution check will trigger when all non-empty cells are filled correctly. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm hoping that if I take these zeros out, the solution check will trigger. Yes, <laughs> that's a relief. That is a relief, 30 minutes. I'm uh, almost all of that 30 minutes right at the beginning of the solve, I would say. No, I mean, that's, that's unfair on, on both myself and the puzzle. But I was really struggling with these lines. After that, I was quite pleased with some of the deductions after that, but I think it took me a good 15 minutes to get my head into what this puzzle is aiming at at all. That's so strange as an idea, as a concept. Brilliantly executed, I have to say. And you even get a picture in the grid into the bargain. That is amazing, though. What a weird puzzle. Thank you. Thank you for having a go at it, if you did. Thank you for watching my video, if you did. Um, thank you for being friends with the channel. Do subscribe. YouTube are writing to us and telling us that not as many as they would expect of our viewers are subscribing. And that may be because we don't ask you to do it all the time. So I'm asking you today. Um, and anyway, thank you for watching us at all, if you do that. We will be back with you tomorrow. We will post another couple of videos, one each, by us tomorrow. Simon's done a crossword video today, so do feel free to check that out. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.